Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So, as you can see, our tree is still standing. Um, it almost fell over yesterday again when we came home from shopping. It was leaning forward, so we pushed it back and put a piece of um, board underneath the tree stand. And so far, it's been working, which is good. Uh, it snowed yesterday, but no blizzard, thank goodness. So let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like outside. Yeah, so this is our backyard. Oh, okay, goodbye, Pepper. See you later, Morton. Peanut's like, no, I'm not going outside, it's cold. So yeah, a couple inches, um, nothing too crazy. But it says it's gonna, okay, I'm going back inside because it's really cold. <laughs> so nothing too um, crazy. However, it's supposed to snow until noon, so we have probably about two or three more hours left but it's not snowing anymore so hopefully none of this crazy seven inches that the weather people predicted yesterday i'm hoping all that happened um probably i don't know if it happened more north because my friend tanisha lives in north omaha and she says that there's no snow where she's at so i'm not sure but i'm gonna go head out to joanne i have to go get a cutting mat for my cricket because i'm going to make um christmas stockings today for my co-workers and yeah, I figured I should do that now while it's not snowing in case it does start to snow later. have a doorbuster for all crickets buy one get one free for mats and tools so I came here just for a mat but now I feel like I kind of want to get something else it's my as well right it's buy one get one free hmm. let's see so I think I want to get this to add the vinyl to the mat because I have a problem with it lifting on the edges and so it's for me here material to cutting mat. Oh, let's see what else they have. Some pins. Let's see. Blades. I don't really need those. I already have all that stuff. Oh, this is kind of cool. It has like a paper cutter to cut the rolls, which make it easier than trying to use scissors. Mm -hmm. oh, I do need more, oop, on camera focus. <laughs> I do need more of this glitter iron on because I messed up yesterday. Let's see, this one. Oh, there's some more colors down here. These on sale? So I picked up what I needed, but now that I'm here, I feel like I'm in the danger zone. <laughs> Everything's on sale. Now I found my way into um, the notions aisle where everything is 60% off. So, I mean, I do need more pins. But yeah, everything in this aisle is 60% off. I feel like this is like Target where you <laughs> go on Target for one thing and leave with more than what you came for. So, oops, sorry guys, I don't know why it always <clears throat> gets blurry. But I do need pens. So, um, probably should go get a bag so I can put stuff in the bag and have a free hand to pick more stuff up with. So I got a new um, reusable shopping bag because look how cute, it has a dog, <laughs> so I couldn't resist this, it says happy holidays. Um, I got some fabric that was on sale, it was originally $20 and I got it for $8 a yard, um, plus I had coupons. All the Cricut stuff was buy one get one half off, so I got a 
um, variety pack of the cutting mats. Um, I originally went to get just one, but when I saw this one randomly laying in a different aisle, I think someone took it and just set it down. I was like, well, you know, I might as well get a three pack, right? Because then I have stuff that I need. Um, I got this accessory so I can put the um, vinyl onto the mats better than what I have been doing. I got some more straight pins that I needed. Some candy. <laughs> um, what else? Some glitter vinyl that I need for my project today. Um, and then some sewing needles because these were 60% off. And I got a, um, a pack of Jersey ballpoint needles too, but I can't find them. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm back from Joanne and I'm in my sewing space now. Um, I went to Joanne's to go get some iron-on glitter vinyl because I'm making stockings for my co-workers. Um, I wanted to make some stockings for the crew that had to work the week of Christmas. And I wanted to um, sneak into the alert facility and put some stockings that I made for them on Christmas Day so when they wake up, they have something um, there. Just because I know it sucks having to work on Christmas and I thought they would find that, um, I guess, nice to have. So I thought I, I have seven stockings to do and I thought I'd do like a little casual sew along. Um, going over one of them in case you guys wanted to make stockings. So what you need is a piece of fabric that you'll need to make your the loop that holds the stocking. So I do my loops a little bit differently. Um, I don't like sewing it in half like this and then turning it inside out. Um, you know, like make a tube and then turn it inside out because I'm not very good at that. So what I like to do is fold it in half and then um, crease the fabric. And I don't use an iron for this. I just take it and like rub it on the side of my table like so to, <laughs> to crease it. Um, I find it safer for my fingers because the iron and I do not get along um, when it comes to small pieces like this. Okay, so now that I have it folded, you guys see this crease right here. So I just take the top half and then the bottom half to that crease line and then um, go ahead and rub the fabric again. So it'll look like this. And then I'll just take these and then fold it in half. So there we go. And then I'll stitch this top part right here. So I'll have my loop. Okay, then you also need um, two pieces of fabric to create your cuff. And if you wanted to um, put like a name on your cuff, you're going to take one piece of fabric, fold it in half, and then you're going to label the top portion like so. Um, so I use my Cricut and that's how I did this one. Um, I've done these in the past where I've appliqued initials on there and then I made stockings for my family this year <laughs> which I wanted to do last year but never got around to but I did it and I actually just did a zigzag stitch um, like my mom did on my stocking when I was little and that's how I put her name on there so there's multiple ways you can um, label them so this one's going to be for meteorologist effects officer or me talk <laughs> for short because I don't think that would fit on a stocking so yeah you're going to need two pieces to make the cuff and then you'll also need two um, pieces for your fabric, of your fabric to make your lining and then as well as to make the outside of your stocking. So I just use the same fabric. Um, you can do like a plain fabric for your lining if you want, but I didn't feel like buying more fabric, surprisingly. <laughs> so I just used um, what I had. All right, so I'm going to set it up so you guys can see my machine, and then hopefully um, this works out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is sew my loop shut, and I do that at about um, an eighth of an inch from the edge that it was folded. So that's 
part one of your stocking, your little loop. Okay. Okay, and once you have your loop sewn, you're gonna take your two cuff pieces and then put them right sides together. And then you're gonna sew on the left and right side of the cuff at a quarter of an inch. and turn it right side out. And you can go ahead and press your seams, but what I like to do is just fold it like this, like at the, um, at the seam, and then just take it on the table, and again, just go like this. Makes the night lay nice and flat and it prevents your fingers from getting burned by the iron. So I do that for both sides. Just line up the seam, turn it, and then. All right, so there's your cuff. So now you have your cuff and your loop. Next, you wanna take your outer fabric and put it right sides facing. And then you're gonna stitch all the way around a quarter of an inch. And now what you want to do is clip your curves. Um, so I always clip around like the bottom portion of the stocking and this will help it lay flat. are all clipped go ahead and turn your stocking oops get rid of this tail of thread <laughs> and then go ahead and turn your stocking right side out okay and then this I'm actually going to take to the iron and press I'll be right back. If you guys can see the light back there, but um, I've gone ahead and pressed the um, outer portion of my stocking. We've made the cuff and then the loop. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble this. So you're gonna take your cuff. So here I'll show you. So this is the um, cut side of the fabric and this is the folded edge. And you're going to insert the stocking. Want to match up your seams and then you'll want to um, ISO an eighth of an inch along the top and then once you have these two pieces stuck together you'll take your loop and then sew it So you'll take your loop and sew it like this also at one eighth of an inch. Hmm. Okay. 
okay, my machine did something weird. <laughs> it somehow unthreaded the top. What did you do, machine? Okay. And then got it tied around this piece. This part of the... What on earth? Rethread my machine. Alright, so now we have the cuff on it and I'm going to sew the loop next. Outside of the stocking. So you have your stocking, your cuff, and then your little loop. Next you want to sew your lining. So you're going to take your right sides together just like you did with the outer portion. But I like to sew this at 3 8 of an inch so I can trim the seam so it fits nicely inside the stocking. And then when you get to the bottom, you don't want to stitch all the way around the bottom. You want to leave like, um, I usually leave a two and a half, three inch opening because um, you're going to have to turn the stocking inside out when you attach this. All right. I hope that makes sense. You'll see. Okay, so like I said, when you get to the bottom portion of the stocking, you don't want to stitch all the way across. So um, I've stopped here and I'm just going to lift my presser foot and pull my fabric through a couple of inches and then just pick up from there. Okay, so now I have my stocking lining complete and I'm going to trim my seams to where they're probably about like an eighth of an inch and then I'm not even going to bother clipping my curves because um, I found that for me personally I'm okay with just cutting the seam allowance um, to where it's smaller and I usually don't have a problem with it um, not laying as neatly and plus it's on the inside so <laughs> no one's going to really notice this once the stocking is stuffed it doesn't um, really affect the appearance too much. Okay, and then when I get to the bottom, I actually don't um, clip it down, like, so let me by the bottom, so where the hole is. Um, and the reason why I do that is because I find it a lot easier at the end to turn it under and iron it, so I always kind of make um, that end a little bit higher, and I'll show you. Um, what I mean by the bottom see how it kind of sticks out a little bit more and that just makes it easier to turn under okay let me throw my fabric scraps over there <laughs> and oh. okay so I'm gonna open this opening a little bit more So now you're going to take your lining and keep it this way and then take your stocking and put it into your lining so they're right sides facing. And if you need help inserting it, just go through the bottom to um, pull on it if I could find it. There you go. Okay, and then make sure that your loop is actually tucked is sandwiched in between. I made the mistake of one year sewing it to where it was it looked like this, and then this was on the inside of the stocking. So yeah, just make sure that it's um, sandwiched nicely. That way when you turn it inside out, or right side out, 
it's where it needs to be. All right, and then make sure your seams match up and then you're gonna go ahead and sew along the top a quarter of an inch. portion is attached so you're going to go through this bottom hole that you left open and pull it through all right so now you have your lining your cuff your loop and your outer portion and what you want to do is go to your ironing board and then you want to press this, so you see how um, it's out like this. This is what I meant by it's easier to press it because you have more material to tuck in. So you want to go ahead and press it and tuck in this fabric. Um, like so. And then just stitch along this line to close it. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pressed my lining and then sh sewed it shut. See, so you can see that stitching right there. That closed it. Now you can just go ahead and tuck your lining into your stocking. And there you have it. Christmas stocking. <laughs> Alright, so I have one down and I have six more to go. So um, I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Bye. Okay, so it's much later um, and I've got all seven stockings done. So I just wanted to show them to you all. So we have our Mission Commander or MC. Isn't this like super Christmassy? Little Santa hat. Um, I got all this fabric. <laughs> Do you guys see Pepper's nose? She's smelling the camera. Um, all this fabric for the stockings I got at Joanne, except for this one. This is actually the first, this was like a mock-up. Um, my first one that I did to see if I could do the others. So I got this stuff at Hobby Lobby. So this is for our EA or emergency actions NCO. Little gingerbread men. Isn't this super cute? And the EA and MC, they actually work hand in hand on the jet. They're a team. So, um, next is our weather officer or me talk, which is the one that you guys saw me make. Has Santa with some snowflakes, so I thought that was appropriate for their considering it's weather. <laughs> Little Pepper brought me a toy. Oh, real quick. So, every time I go to TJ Maxx, I always have to go to the dog section and try to find toys that Pepper can't destroy. And they have these, um, like, rubber sticks. She wants the toy. <laughs> these rubber sticks. Um, they've, her and Warren have been chewing these for probably a good two months, and it's still... What's wrong, Pepper? What's wrong, Pepper? And it's still in one piece. So, if you guys have a dog that likes to chew and destroy things, um, if you have a TJ Maxx, go look for these. Um, I'll see if I can find the name of it and probably insert it in a later vlog. Oh, do you want the toy pepper? Oh, she wants a badge, you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to the stockings. Um, then we have our <laughs> logistics officer or loggy. That's how we address them. Um, they have some more gingerbread men and glitter. Okay, next is our ALSI, um, our Air Launch Control System Officer. And then we have my position, which is um, Force Status NCO, or they call us Force Stat for short. And the um, Force Stat that's going to be working on Christmas also loves dogs, so I thought this was like perfect. Look, are they cute in their little hats? And then last one, this one is my favorite for our strike officer. 
I just find this super Christmassy and just like all the colors are just perfect. Um, and then we have one more position on the jet called our AEAO, which is the Airborne Emergency Actions Officer. But they're usually like um, a general or a flag officer. So an 06 or above. Yeah, is it 6? 6, 7, 8, 9. Sorry, 07 and above. And um, I highly doubt they're going to be staying in the alert facility with us. They'll probably be, I'll either be an on station guy that's going to be staying at his house because they live on base, or um, if it's off station, they'll be living in um, the general's quarters. So, yeah, these are my stockings I've made for everybody. Now I'm just, just going to sit down here until Christmas Day and when they can get stuffed with presents. So yeah, um, I'm going to end the vlog here because this is probably a long one because I had the sew along at the end. So let's see what today's gift is. Which I know is this one from yesterday because I remember number three being over there. Alright, so for day three we have a buttonhole cutter set. And some wonder clips. So a hundred piece Wonder clip. These are really good um, for quilting. And if you don't like pins, these would probably be great for that too, so you don't get your fingers pricked. Um, Alright, so yeah, day three, you have a buttonhole cutter set and 100 wonder clips. Um, if you guys would like to win today's gift, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and then let me know out of the seven of these which one is your favorite. <laughs> And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye.